Hello. What's up, guys? What's up, Dogma Quest Nation? We're back with another video. This week will be... <clears throat> Alright. So, back with another video from a... After a short hiatus. The last cavern video was posted November 11th, about a month ago. Since then, I have been working on cavern, but I also released uh, the online update for my skiing game, Bunny Hill. I've been working on wrapping up the online update, testing it, and pushing it out, as well as doing a little bit of marketing, posting TikToks and shorts and stuff, and that's been going well. A couple people have started speedrunning the game, the Discord is much more active now. It's really cool to see people playing against each other and also against the times online, and some of these people are really insane. They're really good. Thanks for sticking with me here. Uh, yeah, Cavern is a roguelike game that I've been working on. Um, you can wishlist it on Steam. If you like what I do, if you like my other games, please give it a wishlist. It really helps. And you can even play the original alpha version of the game, the Game Jam version of the game, on itch.io uh, if you are interested in that. So these past couple weeks, I've been working on terrain generation. So I have the base system in now for generating terrain, and you'll see what it looks like at the end. Um, and I still have a bit of work to do. I want I want there to be rooms uh, able to be built beforehand and then placed within the, the structure of the terrain. And that's a system I haven't yet implemented. But currently, I have the ability to use noise to generate a level. The certain values of the noise place the wall objects, and then I also do a couple random walk algorithms to get a pretty organic looking level. I place objects within the noise using more noise, or the same noise at a different value, and this lets me put objects sort of by the walls. This is important because in the game, every floor has a key and then a ladder you have to get to, and so it becomes a little bit of a puzzle at the beginning to blow up the walls to get to the key, and then blow up the walls to get to the ladder. So it helps to have stuff already by the walls, just for the player's sake. You can turn things into bombs and then push them around, which is also part of the fun and interesting gameplay. <clears throat> but having stuff by the walls already is pretty nice. Another way I add objects is in clumps. So I look for every empty space with some empty neighbors, and then I spawn a type of clump. It could be a line, an L shape, a cross, or an X, for example. These clumps have certain main objects and then surrounding objects. So it'll usually be like a bomb surrounded by spikes or a torch surrounded by rocks or something like that. This way I can have every level have specific variants. It creates a ton of different alterations without me having to hard code them all. They're picked from a weighted list, so in the base floor it could be a key, but it's pretty rare. It could be a health potion, but it's less rare than the key. I don't have a ton of footage of the bugs that I ran into while making this, but there were a lot. And probably the most time-consuming part of this was making the auto-tiling, so I wanted it to look pretty organic, because right now it just looks like a bunch of cubes, which it is. So I modeled all of these variations in Blender, and then I made a system that checks all of the neighboring tiles and picks the right variation for that instance. So it just goes through every single tile and picks the right one, and it's pretty performant. Uh, you can also see here that it works with the mesh variants, so the UVs and stuff are all still able to be tiled down for the new level. So each level can use the same set of tiles, which is great because I only had to make it once. So yeah, once I got the tiling in, I started making sure that I could spawn the key the ladder, and the player. The important thing here is that each level spawns one key, and it's specifically a floor key, and it only works for the ladder. So nothing else will be locked using this key, and there will always be a key, and there will always be a ladder. This lets you go to the next floor, and then some of the parameters of how many objects are spawned, or how many hazards, or how many enemies, the difficulty, etc., will scale up as you advance through the floors. So the game will pick proper enemies and the proper hazards to spawn, along with you as you advance through the, through the floors, as well as you will have more access to chests and things like that, which will give you more upgrades and make you more powerful. You'll be collecting more swapping abilities so that you can swap out more stuff in the level. I've been making a lot of slight visual improvements and just generally touching up code as I go. I'm hoping that it looks 
better and then it all adds up to something cool. <laughs> I think the game will come together as I start making upgrades and balancing and that kind of stuff and make more enemies. That's really important. I'll be really buckling down the next month and a half. Uh, I'd like to get a demo out soon. So if you're interested in the demo, join the Discord. I'll let you know when it drops, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, other than that, wishlist the game. Thanks for checking out the devlogs. Go check out Bunny Hill. It'll be on sale soon if you've been waiting to buy it. Um, or if you're interested, you can check it out at a reduced price. You can always refund it. But yeah, thanks for watching.